Soldier boy. There you go. You got any? Who's this? This is it's soldier, soldier boy. Soldier? soldier boy. Yeah. Oh, you, what do they have, soldiers? Are you got flies on you? You got flies. I got the fly spray coming. Shut up, little boy. So, see the cow out there with the white on him? Yeah. That's Fred. Yeah, yeah. He's like the outcast. Uh, so they bu they're bullying Fred, and they you're sticking Fred. up for him. They bully Fred. Oh, yes, I do. You're a hero. In it. He's definitely softened, and I think that a lot of what 10 years ago was how he was portrayed. What spiders are these, Joni? Which ones? These ones that have like little skulls under their uh, bellies. I'll have to look at them. Little crab-looking guys? Yeah. They're crabs, Mike. I forget their oh. name, but they've never bothered got me. Crabs. I don't really like spiders, <laughs> but... Mike. He's been fooling around with uh, peaches over there, and he got crabs. <laughs> peaches. <laughs> peaches gave me crabs. Hi, peachy girl. Most people don't realize that they filmed 260 hours for one episode. So if I follow you around or anybody around for 260 hours, and I find your worst possible moments, and you know you have people triggering you. You know, very often those scenes were put into place behind something very simple. He could be walking in, and a guy was late and walking in with a coffee cup, and they'd show this explosion. But that's not where that explosion was from. And I watched that firsthand in the last three episodes. I'm like, wait a minute, that had nothing to do with that. It made me like crazy. And they're like, Tony, it's TV. So I like the fact that this project and what you're doing now is 100% reality TV. Give me, a, where, give me a scoop for, for my boy. Uh, oh, fuck. He's all right. Just I, put it down over there. He, he's, he's he'll never boy. bother you, but there you go, buddy. I've been asking Paul to make me just a little. Just give me. It's right there. Give it to yourself. I'm on the other side of the I'm going to give it to you in about two minutes. Oh, my God. You you're going like, to be pulling this stuff out of your teeth. Clearly, you only do this on TV. Come here for a second. Clearly you only do this on TV. Don't forget Peaches didn't have any yet, so that scoop gets split between them. Peaches got crabs. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, Mike, don't go yep. near. Peaches got crabs. I know, Chester, they don't know. Crab spiders. Yeah, it is. In there, have you worked in a zoo before? Have I worked in a zoo? I'm, look who I'm married to. It, uh, you look like a zookeeper. I am a zookeeper, oh, pretty much. All right, Doug. He's heady a little bit. Good oh, to see Paul. you. Why? What happened? Oh, no. What happened? Oh, no. What? Are you serious? He's rolling around in the mud. Look at him. Oh, man. You just gave him two Look. baths yesterday. Oh. Look. I've spent so many years with the Hudson Valley SPCA, and I'm still there, obviously, but we've always done dogs and cats. We do prosecute like other cases. We prosecute horse cases, cow cases, and I've always felt horrible when we do it. Why is um, that? Because there's not always a place for them to go. If you've seen what I've seen, uh, the way they slaughter animals, the way people take care of animals, uh, if you look at that horse up there, the, uh, the, the, uh, the brown horse, that horse was, when I tell you, bones just right down to the, nothing, nothing left of her. People just let, let animals be, they don't, you know, so people own that horse, how do you do that, you know? So I think that it's, uh, it's, it, it's uh, rewarding, you know, to be able to take these animals and give them what they deserve, because people are mean. And, you know, animals, you know, they have rights too. Yeah, I know somewhere we can go